I mean, if you can't go to the laundromat, where the hell can you go? Hi everyone, it's Andrea here, and I want to first start off by saying I pray that you and your family members and friends are all staying safe during these tough times. I also want to give a special thanks to everyone who is fighting this on our behalf. Now with that said, today I'm going to talk about the Black & Decker portable washer. Now, I know many of you are wondering, what are you talking about? What is that? And to be honest, I just discovered that these exist literally like a month ago. So to explain how we got here and why I even felt the need for a portable washer, let me give you a little bit of a backstory. All right, so this is the box. Not that you care about the box, but you can see that it's Black & Decker. The model number is BPWM09W, and it says portable washer on it. Now I call that out to say that when you order this, and if you have nosy neighbors, they're gonna know that you just ordered a portable washer. Not sure if you care about that, but if you do, just know that it's called out on the box. Quick backstory. I do not have a washer dryer in my unit. I live in a small apartment. Back in August 2019, and actually the whole time that I've lived here, we had laundry on site. So even though it wasn't in our apartment, it was on site. Now my apartment building decided to renovate the laundry room in August of 2019. And let's just say that renovation still has not occurred. So basically I had to start going to the laundromat, but of course once coronavirus rolled around, which we all know that it really started in November, but we had no idea, but especially when things started getting worse in March, I was not going to the laundromat. I don't know about you, but I am definitely not going to the laundromat. So suddenly I was washing stuff on my hands. So I know you're wondering, how did I find out that these exist? Well, it was a combination of both Amazon and YouTube. I'm not actually sure which one came first, but basically one day on Amazon, I came across portable washers and I was like, what is this? And most of the ones that I saw were people had them in their tubs or they were mainly manual. So they still plug into an outlet, like they still run, but as far as getting the water into the washer, you need a bucket in order to fill it up yourself. Not a big deal, those models are actually cheaper than like the automatic one that I bought. But how I came across this particular model is, I was on YouTube, I came across Julia's video. I will link her video in the description box for sure because honestly, her video was really helpful. And I feel like the combination of her video as well as my additional research led me to buying the Black & Decker. So, let's get to it now. All right, so this is the washer. I'm gonna do a mini walk around so you can see about how big it is. And of course, I'm not gonna leave it right here. I'm gonna move it to the bathroom, but I'm just showing you about the size so you can get a feel of it. Now, stepping a little closer, the washer actually comes with this hose, as you can see, and these attachments, which we'll get, we'll talk about this more after and also this hose. Now this hose is what you're gonna put into the bathtub or your sink to drain the water. Um, but yeah, I still have the plastic on because I wanna make sure that it works first. But as you can see, this is about the size of the washer. The controls are right here. And let me just open it for you. This is the size of the washer inside. All right, to start, we have to first hook up the washer to the sink. Now I am in my bathroom, so I'm gonna hook it up to my bathroom sink, and this is the hose that came with the washer, and this is the adapter. Now this is supposed to be a quick adapter that hooks up to any sink, and I'm just gonna warn you that this may or may not work for you. Thankfully, mine actually works, um, but before we do this, I actually have to remove the aerator from the sink. So I'm gonna tell you and actually show you how to do that. All right, so in case you were wondering what the faucet aerator is, it's actually this silver piece here. As you can see, it is attached to the faucet. Now, don't worry, it's not that I'm a guru in all of this. I actually just learned all of this when I got this washer. Um, but essentially, 
This regulates the water pressure coming out of your faucet. You have to remove this in order to attach the adapter. So let's get started with We're that. actually going to put a washcloth or a towel, preferably a washcloth, over the aerator because you don't want to scratch it up because, again, you need your sink to work after this, so do not ruin your aerator. Then we're going to take these pliers and essentially you're going to put it over the washcloth and you're going to twist off the aerator. So after you have given it a twist, you basically should be able to unscrew it right off. And there you go. And don't worry, this will go right back into the faucet as well. Now, we're going to take part of this adapter off. And if you pull down this white piece, it comes apart. Then we're going to put this washer back into the sink since it came out. Now we're going to screw the part of the adapter into the faucet. And it's that simple and easy. Next, you're going to take the other piece of the adapter and we're going to screw this into the hose. All right, so now we've reattached the adapter to the hose and now you're going to pull down this white piece again and stick it on like that. All right, so now we have this all attached to the washer. And next, plug it in. And remember this hose, we're going to put this into the bathtub. Okay, so now we are all set up. We're going to turn it on. And as you can see, here's where you select the programs. So you have heavy, gentle, normal, or rapid. If you do heavy, you can actually select the load size. So if we had large, we would do number three, medium number two, and small number one. You can also select the amount of time that you want it to wash, so you can do like 12 minutes, 13, etc. You can select the number of rinse minutes and spin. Now, the, you can only do this for the heavy cycle and I believe the normal cycle. Yeah, but if we put it, or the gentle cycle, sorry. But if we put it on the rapid cycle, you can't. You can select the load size, so I'm going to put it on one because I'm only washing a pair of leggings but you can't select the wash minutes or rinse and, and span because I think it's on like a, um, just a standard cycle. Next, we're gonna open the lid, put our leggings in there, then we're gonna add some detergent, pour that in there. Let's close the lid like so. Now, before we push the start button, turn on your cold water. And then push start. And then you will see that the water is going into the washer. So I actually pulled the plastic back so you can see it a little better that you see the water going into the washer. All right, so after a couple minutes, the washer is done filling up and now it has switched to the wash mode. All right, now the water is draining, as you can see, and make sure you have this hose secured. I'm using the, um, the bottle of conditioner, I mean the bottle of detergent. <laughs> and now like a regular normal washer, it's in spin mode. All right, so after that spin cycle, it repeats itself one more time. So it's gonna now fill up with water. It's gonna wash, it's gonna rinse and spin one more time. And we're at nine minutes. Checking in, we're at four minutes and it's now draining again.
All right, so we're done. And now we can take out our leggings and see how they look. All right, so they seem pretty clean. They look good to me. And they're actually not that damp. Like, I feel like the spin cycle is actually pretty good. Also, I didn't mention this earlier, but they have a lint catcher in here. So this comes out like this. And you can actually open it to clean out the lint. In this case, I didn't really have much. It's just this little bit right here. So I'm going to take that out. Yeah, so... Once you're done cleaning the lint out, you're just going to pop it back in here. Like that. And we are done. All right, everyone, there you have it. That is the Black & Decker portable washer. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me in the comments below. And also check out Julia's video, which I mentioned earlier. Her video is very helpful. And yes, yeah, stay safe, stay blessed, and take care.